This project was very much a collaboration with the producers of the film and their artistic direction. This was a totally a new experience for me. I haven't worked with a film for making props. Usually I'm designed for real market products. Design for prop is very exciting. Designing the future is always tricky when you're making a movie because these days actual science moves faster than science fiction half the time. When I wrote the first draft of this script, I gave the people on the Starship tablet computers to show that they were in the future. Because at that time, there were no tablet computers in the real world. And now, of course, you look around the set and everybody's got one. To update the technology of the future, you invented the future tablet. It became a lightsaber-like device so that the screen could contract, stow away, the object could tuck into your pocket. The design was clear from the script itself. We prepared two different uh, versions, one that was a bit bigger, bulkier, rougher, and the other one that was smaller. They're pretty similar as a product. The bravest woman I know. I open the door, I get clear. You get clear? You can talk to me through this. The communicator started as a sort of headset with an integrated microphone or some way to communicate. The main idea was to try to be less invasive as possible. Jim. And we also had to provide the batteries. They were specifically made for this product. Jim! It's okay. No, it's not okay! At the moment, there are a lot of hurdles, but the evolution of technology is really fast. Maybe it's not about 100 years. These products could be realized in the near future. We have to do this. Ah!